All right, so uh, in this video, they're telling us that secant of angle A is equal to 8 over 3, and we're asked to find uh, the other five trig functions here. All right, so first off, uh, because secant because secant is the reciprocal of cosine, all right, that means the reciprocal of cosine is secant. All right, so basically, when you flip this 8 over 3, that's going to give you your cosine here. All right, so cosine of angle A is going to be 3 over 8. All right, so remember cosine. Uh, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So that means our hypotenuse has to be 8. All right, so we got 8 units there. And uh, adjacent, so if I pick this angle, then the adjacent side would be right here, and that's just not going to look right. All right, that can't be three in that eight. I mean, we could work with it, but I'm going to let, I'm going to pretend that that angle there is my angle A. Uh, that way, the adjacent side to that is this three. All right, so I've got three and eight. Uh, since I know the hypotenuse, I can go ahead and use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out my uh, missing side here. So I'm going to do uh, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. All right, so I'm going to minus 9 from both sides. Uh, that's going to give me b squared equals, let's see here, 64. It's 8 squared. 64 minus 9 is going to be 55. All right, uh, square root both sides, and that means our missing side is the square root of 55. All right, so now that we have all three sides, uh, finding, you know, sine, tangent, cosecant, and cotangent are just, uh, you know, a little exercise. We've done this already. So sine, all right, sine of A is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. All right, so opposite over hypotenuse. So we're going to have root 55 over 8, and cosecant, that's the reciprocal of sine. So that's going to be 8 over square root of 55. Uh, tangent, that is opposite over adjacent. So from A, opposite is going to be root 55 over adjacent is 3. So root 55 over 3. And then cotangent is the flip of this. So we're going to get 3 over square root of 55. So uh, nothing really different here. Just uh, the thing to catch, the main thing we did was instead of thinking of it as secant of A is 8 over 3, we just did the reciprocal. So cosine is equal to 3 over 8. And then from there, we, you know, we drew our triangle. And then Pythagorean theorem to figure out our missing side there.